ne ba ye kene mu no e dalo ni ne kun si ne sere ni lo akuko ni fa ine me di chiche ase na adru ni na mma no ni ya di keji ne cha da agu agu ona e kuru na ko ya de ise 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 e du ko si de aye je ba pe o si go si nu ife ajima ke we bia no bo si ketin na anya onye na fini na ku abo de bia from prime minister in exile ka ah ya bo ma ji simon epa di odogu commander no mercy eh if in a big ticket abo the place ladies after the queue in gabon obro belief in the drig ya bi fe is only fly to gabon queue ml e ma ni gent na ifu ni ye na emezi na na africa na always if i na ota ni ota mane fu na osogbali du na agbozi azu keta ni wata go na na apia zi ndi france water water fa na akopo se fa na abo anyo so gent ke ni fe awa ebo pm wele ke ku igese abi fe itie your own contribution your own comment on the commission below all right over to you sir by first sending a congratulatory message to the people of gabon we wish to congratulate you on behalf of the Biafra people on your successful liberation of the people of Biafra from the political neocolonialism, the retrogressive and the mediocre local leadership that has been serving the interest of the colonial masters instead of the interest of the people of Gabon for decades. The wave of freedom in Africa is coming very strongly to the Biafra people. Biafra is a nation that is in the current eastern region of Nigeria of today with a population of over 73 million people dispersed across the globe. Biafra existed as an independent nation after the declaration of Biafra between 67 to 70. And Nigeria fought a genocidal war against Biafra people in which over 3 million children and over 5 million people died, including women and children. They lost their lives not to bullet, not to bomb, but mostly to starvation due to the supply route blockade by the evil terrorists of Nigeria in collaboration with the British government. Nigeria forcefully annexed Biafra into Nigeria. Since then, Biafra people has been living under extinction threat, exploitation, extortion, land grabbing, terrorism, raping of Biafra, women and girls extrajudicial killing and flagrant abuse of human rights inside Nigeria. Meanwhile, over 95% of the minerals that fuel the economy of Nigeria and the Western world comes from the Biafra land. For instance, the gas pipeline that ran through Niger State or Niger Republic that France and USA want that is making them to push ECOWAS today led by the Nigeria illegitimate drug baron president to go to war in Niger Republic started in Wari in Delta State Biafra land is a Biafra territory yet the people got no compensation despite the environmental degradation caused by this particular oil exploration in the region. In view of the hostility toward the Biafra people by the Nigeria state, we, the people of Biafra today, have decided to exit Nigeria peacefully or otherwise and restore our independent sovereign state, Biafra, through a Biafra Republic government in exile. The Biafra 
Republic government in exile is established to undertake political or political and administrative governance of the Biafra nation from within and outside of the Biafra territory. The Biafra Republic government undertake diplomatic and foreign relationship, arrangement, negotiations, and pact with other nations of the world and interest organizations of the world on behalf of the Biafra people. We, the Biafra government in exile, are to be accorded all diplomatic privileges as due to any government officials of our respective levels anywhere in the world. The Biafra Republic government in exile recognizes you, the military government of Gabon, as a legitimate government of the people that represent the interests of the people of the Republic of Gabon. Hence, we are extending our hands of friendship to you based on mutual respect. I want to make it very clear today, the relationship between Gabon and Biafra dated far back during the Biafra genocidal war, especially when Nigeria committed genocide against Biafra people. Gabon exported to us, Biafra, cornmeal, which our people of Biafra nicknamed Gare Gabon. Many people do not know this history. It is time we pay back. Even when we have not yet gotten our independence, we are going to stand strongly with the people, the majority of the people of Gabon, who are now very happy with the new military leadership. That particular Gary Gabon went a very long way in saving many souls in Biafra land, sustaining our people. Congratulations once more. We look forward to having a mutual cooperation and alliance with you, the new leadership in Gabon, keeping our people truly free and liberated. I watched today the press release from the illegitimate president of Nigeria, the drug baron called Ahmed Bolatinubu. And I want everyone to listen to this and listen and pay attention to what is coming out of this monkey. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the press. His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is watching developments in Gabon very closely with deep concern for the country's socio political stability and the seeming autocratic contagion apparently spreading across different regions of our beloved continent. The president, as a man who has made significant personal sacrifices in his own life in the cause of advancing and defending democracy, is of the unwavering belief that power belongs in the hands of Africa's great people and not in the barrel of a loaded gun. The President affirms that the rule of law and a faithful recourse to constitutional resolutions and instruments of electoral dispute resolution must not at any time be allowed to perish from our great continent. To this end, 
the president is working very closely and con continuing to communicate with other heads of state in the African Union toward a comprehensive consensus on the next steps forward with respect to how the crisis in Gabon will play out into how the continent will respond uh, to the contagion uh, of autocracy uh, we are seeing spread across our continent. Thank you very much. My message to the illegitimate president of Nigeria today is this. In this particular press release, the white Abino mentioned defending democracy that the illegitimate and criminal president has suffered by defending democracy. He also noted that power belongs to the people and not with people with guns, which is the military. But today, everything he said here, Nigeria, under, under this drug lord called Tinubu, violated. It is the opposite that they are doing. He talked about defending democracy. The election was a scam, and the scam is still going on. He talked about power belong to the people. The Biafra people are speaking in millions every Monday, sitting at home, making sure that they delegitimize the Nigeria government within the Biafra territory, demanding for peaceful resolution, for peaceful referendum, for the exit of Biafra from Nigeria. That is the power of democracy. Nigeria is violating it. He talked about the rule of law. Mazen Amdikano has been discharged by the Nigeria court themselves, yet he is still being detained, not in the prison, but in the DSS dungeon, in solitary confinement. Violation of the Nigeria law, international law, and all human rights law known to man. Yet, he comes here to tell you about Gabon, and he is quoting you about how Nigeria president is respecting the rule of law. Nigeria is a scam, and the rulers are criminals, drug lords, scammers, corrupt people, and what have you. And we commend the military that have taken over in Gabon. The democracy in Africa is only a scam, and Biafra is going to bring a true democracy to Africa. The Biafra government is hereby informing the military leadership of Gabon that we are opening channel for discussion for future benefit of the both nation. And in case the African Union intervene through this illegitimate president scattered all over Africa, remember if Nigeria joined any military force or anything against Gabon leadership, current leadership. I want the Gabon people to know that they have alliances. They have allies that will fight Nigeria within. Our duty as the Biafra Liberation Movement is to form alliance to any or with any nation that Nigeria goes against. It's our duty because there are many ways to liberate the people of Biafra. And so therefore, this evening, we are stretching the hands of fellowship to the Gabon leadership, military leadership, as it stands today. And we want to congratulate people of Gabon for their liberation and freedom from the new colonialism and the puppet that are being used and those that have served as the enablers within their country. Those who are castigating the people of Gabon, your own is coming. Africa is the worst continent on this planet. And the preaching of the Biafra people is making wave across Africa. And the Pan-Africanism is rising and there is no going back. If you are part of the liberation movement of Africa today, from Biafra to Niger, Republic, to Gabon, to Southern Central African countries, 
and all of, all, all, all of that, you are privileged. You should be proud of yourself. More of the military takeover will be coming, and then it will follow with a peaceful transition of government from military rule to true democracy. We are looking forward that Biafra is going to take the lead of the transition in a matter of months to come. If you are a Biafra today and you have not joined the movement to liberate Biafra people, you are going to regret it. I want to inform you that this evening, the Biafra business team will be showcasing again the uh, estate of the Biafra Republic of Meteza, the, pro the proposed estate, the proposed uh, suit, a Bube housing estate that the Biafra government is selling off front. And the idea is to use this particular sell of these properties off front to raise funds for the liberation and the fight of Biafra. So in the next few minutes, you are going to join us again as the business team present to Biafra people at large all over the world, what they have to offer, and you must be part of this. Come and take your own portion of these particular properties that Biafra people are selling up from. As soon as Biafra is restored, you are going to be one of those that will benefit from what Biafra has to offer structurally, <laughs> developmental-wise, and otherwise. May God bless Biafra, may God bless you, and may God bless the people of Gabon. Biafra government, peace, unity, progress, and equity. To the Biafra Liberation Army, airborne to the Eastern Security Network, airborne, we are moving with speed. Our only objective is to make sure that our land is protected and sealed. Our women and children must be protected. Those military checkpoints in Biafra land. And the by Darokwan Linne, Ununoka, Ye, our Ebo Pier, Mazi, Sabon, Bakugasi, Nirakuwa. I get the key be up now. Yabosa was even a Baziaz. That na my happiness in Africans are now waking up. Makimana, Anna Kupuma, the Odonala, or that is only only with them. Maka Africans now, and I compose in Dorcha, Foliners, Odonala. And Taiwan goes in the deblation. I never go. I do go so. We get here and look at our able peer which will quest you could teach each other. Okay, man, I couldn't hear Allo and your own contribution. If you check us, you must have a key for you. I'm because you are a Jerapun who were Gabaruki eager of more for my and Gabaruki share candles over where me fame and I could not connect the new update of number stomach you over the name that the whole world, Africa and the Nigeria. So that only knew much in the care. Catchco Cabin Magos, you need no fun of food. When I could not quite a daily, he said, he said, he said, each of Canaab is standing twenty four. Beweis no Tadun, Nukosia do Kemba. Danum Munem, Kemesian.